everybody welcome to today's video just wanted to talk about um, some of the coffee related things that I'm really enjoying for this month now small caveat I was supposed to record this in November and it's supposed to be a November favorites video but I'll just make it December favorites because I'm still enjoying this stuff and I really wanted to talk about it so let's begin Number one, the coffee that I'm really enjoying right now. This I got back in November, but I've been using it very carefully and I don't let it go to waste at all. I just love it so much. And it is this Colombian from Red Bank in the UK. It's called the Sweet Valley Colombian from Grania La Esperanza, which is, I guess, this state or farm in Colombia where it's from. And it's a naturally processed coffee. And the thing is, the reason why I like this so much is it's very, very distinct and very different from any other Colombian coffee I've had in the past. I mean, Colombian coffees have a fair bit of acidity in them, but this one is a fruit bomb. It is a literal fruit bomb. It's such a pleasure to drink and it is, it's, it's amazing. It has like notes of white grape and mango in there. It's such a pleasant drink. And I've really been enjoying this and I love it. And I wish you guys could try it as well. It's a fantastic Colombian coffee, very different from the other ones I've tried. And it always, it's always exciting tasting a coffee from a familiar origin that tastes different from that origin, from the traditional flavors that you would get. And that's fun. That's fun to try out. And I really enjoyed this. So Red Bank, Sweet Valley Colombian. Really been enjoying this for November and December, and I love it. Number two, my brewer that I've really been enjoying for the month, and that is the Kalita. This is a 155 Kalita Wave, so it's the smaller one, and it's a glass one, and it's fantastic. But something about it is just very different from a V60 or a Chemex. I've noticed that I've been getting much more, uh, much more evenly extracted brews, more balanced brews. The reason for better extraction is because of the flat bed that is naturally there. So you don't have to put in extra effort like you would in a V60, for example, digging up a little hole. And you don't need any of that with this. You get a fairly even extraction, or at least I have. And it's worked out great and it looks beautiful. So this Kalita 155 Wave is a fantastic brewer and I've really, really been enjoying this uh, this month and the last month and ever since I've gotten this. And for the Kalita, oh, that is so good. And with the Kalita, the filter that I've been using is this cloth filter from Cloth Filter Co. Uh, in the UK. And this, if you are someone who follows Square Mile Coffee uh, on their socials, they even started selling these online. And before getting to the technical aspects of this, one of the reasons why I really, really love this is this is the third cloth filter that was sent out to me by Matt uh, because the first two never made it to me. And he was such a gentleman. He took it out of his own expense to make sure that I received my filter, even if I did not get it the first two times he shipped, shipped it out, which wasn't his fault. It got lost in the post. And I really appreciate him for that. And that's something you don't find very often. I'm very grateful for that. And it's things like that that matter. And this is a cotton and hemp filter, I believe, for the 1155 Kalita and it fits very snug, it's perfect. Uh, cloth filters are usually more porous, so there's more things, more oils, and more substance from the coffee that's passing through the filter. So that allows for a much more heavier bodied, relatively heavier bodied coffee. And I, I, I've really been enjoying this with lighter roasts that are washed coffees, and it works great. I love it, I get a very, very very good brew out of this every time 
and it's it's perfect. Um, it's not that expensive either, and they ship worldwide. So if you're looking for a cloth filter, I'd highly suggest you get this. Um, fairly inexpensive, less waste, much more sustainable method of coffee brewing, I guess. And it tastes great, so can't go wrong with it. Shout out to Matt, thank you. All right, so number four, my cup of choice for this month. And that is the very cup that I'm drinking out of. This cup made by Rusum. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. R U S O N, and the U has a little accent mark over it. It's a fantastic piece of pottery. And this was made by Maha, who's, who runs Rusum, and she's the founder of it. It's a small scale, sustainable pottery studio that she's running. And apart from the fact that this is a beautiful, beautiful cup, the reason why this is so special to me is. This had quite a bit of effort on Maha's part that went into it and a bit of brainstorming on mine. She was looking for people who love coffee, who drink coffee every day, who it's a part of their everyday ritual to make coffee. And she wanted to make a cup, especially for people who love coffee. And she reached out to me a few months back and she asked me for ideas. And I sent her uh, cups that I've loved and really admired um, and always wanted to buy but never got the chance and she basically put all of those together and made this, this fantastic cup I could not be happier with with the result of it it's such a beautiful cup like it has this nice contrast between the blue and the sand ceramic base it's, it's perfect yeah you know, it makes me very happy it's a small thing but it's special and I think that is all guys that's it these are my coffee favorites for the month yeah, that's, that's, that's basically it. The next video is going to be much more exciting. Very, very fun stuff. Um, it's going to be a bit more research-based and a bit more... has more in it than, than just myself. And it involves collaboration. So I'm very excited to share that with you. It's going to be fun. So I really hope you guys watch that and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So thank you so much. Thank you for sticking by. Thank you for all your support. I really appreciate it. And I hope you're all safe. I hope you're taking care. And let me know if you have any comments, any suggestions, anything you want me to try. Or if you've tried any of this stuff, let me know in the comments below. That's all. Thank you so much. And see you in the next one. Peace.